This is the reason why I came in the first place. I came to seek. I am a seeker of those who are lost so that I can save him. So, Zacchaeus is my mission. This is the reason why I came in the first place. I came to seek. I am a seeker of those who are lost so that I can save him. So, Zacchaeus is my mission. Zacchaeus is my mission. I have a prayer for you tonight that in the name of Jesus, your mission will continue to be clear and clearer in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, you will not be confused about your mission. There is a race set for you. When Paul finished the race, he said, I have ran the race. I have completed it. Yeah? I have fought the good fight. And he says, now, I'm ready for the crown. (laughs) Because I have not only ran, I have won the race. Tell your neighbor, there is a race set for you. There was one for Paul. Hey, listen, listen, please. When you speak, just speak it. There is a race for you. There is one for Paul. There is one for Apollo. And there is one for you. There is a race that is set apart. Oh, right now, I am running my race. Hey, I am running my race right now. Whatever it takes for me to run well, I am okay with it. The rebirth and the, the, the cost that goes with it, I am okay with them. Why? Because I am on earth and I have a race. I am on a mission. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Number two. I am not going to go down into these things for too long. Let me give you this and you can go, you know, digest them a little more. Something else that helped Jesus to accomplish his purpose is that he was time conscious. Uh, <laughs> he was time conscious. Uh, he was time conscious. John chapter 9 verse 4 because these are not stories, these are scriptures. Yeah, this is the Bible. Time consciousness is very, very important. I want you to know that your mission is time bound. It is time bound. The Bible says when, well, I'll come to that, to John. But uh, uh, it is said about David, when David had served God's purpose. Acts, I think, chapter 13. In his generation, he rested. Amen. After he had passed God's purpose in his you can you will not serve another generation the time to serve god is now amen you know there are those people who think we have all the time so they keep on procrastinating i am a car listen to me if you're going to serve god you can only serve him in your generation when the opportunity is there there is a time you will want to serve but it will not be possible Tell your neighbor, you don't have all the time. No, no. John chapter 9 verse 4. Jesus is asked by his disciples from verse 1. Between the parent, which parent? Or between the parent and this guy. Who sinned? Who sinned now that he is blind? Jesus says, no, no, no. I want to correct you. None of them sinned. This happened so that the works of God can be displayed. Yeah, so this was an opportunity that God created so that his works can be seen. And Jesus begins to say, this work is the work I came to do. So verse 4 he says, I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Ah! 
while you do not just work. Are you here with me? You don't just work. I don't have a clock, so I don't know where we are. Okay. So, Bishop means what? Uh, at, until what time? 15 minutes now? Bishop, even the way you are saying it, you have serious. 10 minutes? 10 minutes? 11.30? No problem. I'll come to finish this another day. 12.30? That's okay. That's okay. Let's go. Time consciousness. So, he says, I must work at the works. Yeah? Yes, I must work the works. Is this okay? We are here. While it is still. Well, it is still? Then he says, night is coming. Be you want. Night is coming. Night is coming. When no one can walk. Hey, tell your neighbor, you don't have all the time. Yeah. You don't have all the time. Some of us are preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing. Oh, for let me tell you, we are preparing to do something. Uh, I heard somebody say something interesting. He said that uh, uh, there is no career like uh, being in college. You cannot be in college over and over and over and over. You go to college to learn so that you can work. So it is not a hobby, it's not a career. Being in school is not a career. You go there to learn and become. I want to tell you in the name of Jesus, many of you that the Lord has prepared, I want to ask you to arise. Arise, the time is now. You don't have all the time. Hello, Paulus. If you are going to accomplish the purposes of God, you must know that you are time bound. Yeah. Yeah. We are not trees. Yeah. Ah. Pastor Margaret, the time is now. When the, the Bible says the race is not to the swift, the it's not to the strong, no food to the wise, but time and chance happens to them all. Oh, yeah. The Bible also says in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm concluding this. Whatever your hands finds to do, hallelujah, there is a way you do it, knowing that you don't have all the time. The Bible says that do it with all of your strength. And I want to say something to you. I want to say something. I want to say something before I go because I need to say it before I go. Listen. The Bible says something about the devil. Very interesting. Revelation chapter 12 verse 12. <laughs> it says, Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in heaven, you are safe. But walk to the earth and the sea. Why? With the great fury, the devil has come down to you. And, I, and this is the reason why he has come down with the great fury. You might wonder why is he so aggressive? Why is he so aggressive to destroy our youth? Why is he so aggressive to destroy your life? The Bible tells me, knowing. He has only So ask your neighbor, do you know that your time is short? Meaning, you don't have extra time. You only have enough time. Did you hear that? You don't have extra time. You only have enough time. You are here, even a hundred years is short when you are full of the purpose of God. Yes. Because it is short because that time that God has given you is just perfectly enough for your purpose. Enough for your purpose. So you must work when it is day. Yes. Somebody shout, we must fulfill our purpose. We must fulfill our mandate. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, I am, I am on a mission. Somebody say, I am anointed for my mission. I am for my mission. In, the In the name of Jesus. And I will fulfill, I will fulfill my, mission. my mission. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Yeah. So we are dealing with a devil 
that is time conscious. Yeah. <laughs> we are dealing with a devil that is time conscious. Yeah. Such that, you see, now I have even stopped trying to finish this. You see, you see, when you are late, Pastor Margaret, you, you don't drive the same as yeah. when you have all the time. Yes. I, I guess so. Yeah, I, I guess so. If you have three minutes to go all the way to Urban, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but you cannot be driving at a 10, 15. No. When I meet with you, I can tell you are time conscious. You are looking at your like it is like what is happening right now. Hey, I am aware I have only five minutes. So I got to plan myself. I got to say I, I might live here without saying something. God forbid. Because I came on a mission. Hallelujah. So I got to plan myself within the time. When I have all the time, I would still be number one, giving you more points. You know, pumping it more. But now we move. And with that reason, we move to number three. Yeah. He managed distractors. <laughs> For him to accomplish his purpose, he managed distractors and side issues. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, one day. One day, Herod sent a message to Jesus. A man on a mission. The Pharisees came and told him, Hey, Jesus, we are grateful for the great ministry you are doing. But we have a bad message. Because Herod says, Quickly, you must leave this place. <laughs> he must have said it is that, uh -uh right person wrong message <laughs> that a miss that a miss yeah please don't give me some messages please don't deliver some messages yeah don't don't because my mission determines how long i'll be here my mission it is i i just don't want to be here i can tell you that for what i i don't want just to be here it is on a tikweda, ah, no, that is Greek. It is not that even I really want to be here. This place has its own issues. And up there is better. By far. By far. By far. But now, it is not me who determines. It is the mission. The mission. <laughs> hey, Jesus, we must get done. Two minutes. It is a mission. So he responds. And uh, I don't have time to explain how he responded. Because the first thing he says is to, you know, identify that guy. Beyond. <laughs> By the way, that was not an abuse. No, I can explain that. Yeah, he was talking about, he was designing the spirit yes. behind that kind of an activity. The fox spirit. You, you know the fox spirit? Foxes who are known for that. They are destructive in nature. No, no, no. I don't have time. My two minutes, you, you destroy them with laughter. Listen. They are known for that. Foxes. That is why when, uh, when uh, this guy called Samson wanted to burn somebody's wheat. He never looked for any other. They were the most notorious. He looked for foxes. He knew they would do a perfect job. Yeah. When Nehemiah was building a wall, yeah. they said, even if a fox jumps, because they are known for that. Yeah. Bad manners. Yeah. Notorious. When uh, in the book of Songs of Songs, chapter 2, verse 15, they are praying for their relationship. They said, oh God, catch for us. The little foxes, they are destroying our vines. They are dangerous. They come to a boat. To a boat, a mission. So this is the spirit, the destruction that was coming. And Herod, I arrest that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Even over your life, and over your ministry, and over your mission, and over your business, I arrest that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will not abort your destiny. 
I say no folks. No folks. I say here no folks. I say online no folks. No spirit of foxes. Oh yeah. We are about your destiny. My ministry. My mission. My mandate will be fulfilled. Jesus said okay. Go tell that folks. It is my mission that determines how long I will be here. That is chapter 12 of uh, chapter 13 verse 32. He says behold hallelujah I cast out demons and perform uh, cures today and tomorrow. Listen. Listen to that day. He says after that day see when that you need Even that day I'm not because you said I go. He said then on that day it has nothing to do with you. And the that day I finish my course. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Even the that day. So that Bishop, you can be sure I am going. <laughs> On the that day, I'll finish my course. Then guests will live at their own pleasure. Yeah. I'll leave the scene at my own pleasure. No threats. My goodness. Are you clapping or you are not celebrating? You are watching Pacific Waves Television USA, a place of nourishment. Thank you.